I think if you're a black person in this country and you have any awareness of the uh, civil rights movement at all, you can't really pinpoint a particular time uh, that you know about it. I feel like I've always known about Emmett Till's story. Uh, I think that what I didn't know until I got older was the, uh, how brave uh, Mamie Till Bradley was, you know, in terms of insisting that his cast could be open and let the world see what they did to him. Uh, what I also didn't know was how much of a sham the trial was and uh, all those details. So I think that um, I've always known about him, but just the depth of the, the struggle, the depth of the, the tragedy uh, just unfolded to me as I got older. I read the script and I just thought, this is something that matters. This is something that's important. And uh, I rarely feel that way uh, when I get a, a, a script to read. Usually I read it and it's kind of like, okay, let me figure this out, let me just do this. But um, when I, I felt uh, immediately uh, the sense of uh, responsibility and uh, the opportunity there was to really do something special. Well, in the film, I play Gene Mobley, who is uh, Mamie's uh, boyfriend slash fiance, uh, so to speak, uh, at the time that Emmett is killed. And uh, he's someone that's there with her throughout the entire tragedy, throughout the entire process. Uh, he's someone who uh, was really Mamie's rock uh, throughout this entire ordeal. Uh, you know, there were times when uh, she would put up a brave front for the public or she would uh, even put up a brave front for her own mother within her own family. And I think uh, Jean Mobley was somebody that she could be weak with, someone that she could lean on when she was at her lowest. And uh, I would like to think that that's the, the function that, uh, that Jean played in her life and then that I'm playing in the story. Uh, working with Shinoya was just incredible. Uh, from the beginning, I mean, during the, uh, the casting process, just classy and respectful and, 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 uh, and so passionate all the way along. And then once we got here on set, uh, you know, her, her passion, her, her care for these people, for this story, uh, her vision for what she wants this movie to be were very clear. And uh, what Shinoya is brilliant at is, is being able to communicate her vision in a way that I can understand as an actor. And so that I'm able to try and give her what she wants and what she needs as best I can. Oh, Danielle Deadweiler is uh, phenomenal to work with. She's a force of nature. Uh, she has like a stunning amount of uh, stamina, commitment. Um, there were some days that uh, I was in awe of what she was doing. Uh, her ability to, to stay in this, you know, space of anguish uh, for long periods of time. Uh, I'm just. You know, she's just unbelievable. This is stuff that is still going on. Uh, uh, black men, black boys uh, are still uh, victimized by, a, by, by a, a culture that doesn't value our, our lives. And uh, people really need to take that to heart and to understand it. And, and, I, and I think to see this story, to see this happen to a 14-year-old boy and to see the lack of justice that he got and the lack of justice that he still, had, he still hasn't gotten justice. Those men were never spent a day in jail for his murder. The woman that lied about him, she, she's still alive and she belongs in jail. And I'm hoping that this movie uh, can get the word out there again that Emmett deserves and demands justice and accountability.